Hey guys, just back with another C sharp tutorial. Uh, so today we'll just talk about. So we'll just go over a few things about variables and then do an example code. So here, if I have uh, so just more on variables and types and stuff. So if I have here. Uh, a string so if I have here a, uh, actually there's no capital S I think in C sharp okay so there's lowercase s for a string uh, so if we have uh, just like str so we're going to declare it first then we'll say uh, so if we just if we just have a uh, so if we say str points to a number like 5, so this is an error. Uh, it's an error because uh, the types don't match. So the type should always uh, should match the variable, so this is not an error if we have, let's say we have string here. So remember this string is different than in the, in the literal quotes, it's different than the string word here. So this is the type here, which is an object. String is a uh, not a primitive type; it's an object, I believe. You can think of them as you can think of it as a primitive type, but it's not. Uh, it's kind of confusing, but it's basically just a type. So just remember that. Uh, so here, the string is different than that string because it's in a literal. Well, we could just change this string to anything like this. So the string points to fruit. This is okay, there's no error here. It's the same type, but if we take the quotes away. Actually, one more thing if I show you guys this. Now this is, uh, this is okay. So if we have str points to a string literal of five, it's a string. So in this case, the compiler is gonna print it out as a string. But if we have uh, without the string literal five, then that's five is an int. So we'll talk about ints uh, later on. But uh, five is an int, which is a different type than a string. So in that case, it's going to be an error. It says here, uh, I don't think you can see this, but it says cannot convert source type int to target type string so you can't have you can't have uh, different types you can't have a string and assign it to an int that doesn't work you can't take an int and assign it to a string that's not going to work what we can do is we can use uh, methods called parse methods so we'll, we'll look at those uh, soon so basically you can convert uh, a string to an int and an int to a string and all that Okay, so uh, a variable can only hold one value at a time. So you can't say, okay, we'll string uh, string str points to fruits, or not, say it points to cherries, and then say, comma, then we want to have uh, bananas, whatever. How do you swap bananas? So you can't have string str points to cherries and bananas because the compiler is going to be like, well, I only have enough space for one uh, string. If you want to do that, you got to use a different. Uh, you can use an array. We'll talk about that later on. Uh, you can use so an array is is in square brackets. So an, one array can hold multiple elements. That's an array, in this case, which which will give you any amount of elements that you want, which is a little bit confusing, but you could say at index 0, I want cherries at index 1, because the index always starts at 0, so then index 0 is cherries, index 1 is bananas, index 2 is blueberries. So you can do that, you can use a list, you can use a list, you can use an array list, uh, 
We'll talk about all that stuff later on. But for, for those are data structures. In this case, this is just a single variable, so you can only hold one thing. In this case, we could just store fruit in here, whatever, cherries. So you can only hold one string. So you can't have multiple strings in one uh, variable. Uh, so basically, uh, but you can, so once again, we could, we could take this str and say, okay, well now cherries point, uh, sorry, now str points to bananas. Bananas, uh, I'm not sure how you spell that. I always get that confused. I think that's correct. So we have, uh, my, sp my spelling's really bad, so I haven't written essays in a long time. I actually forgot, I'm losing my memory, I think, of, like, easy words. Uh, so anyways, we have, uh, str so here we can have str points to cherries or cherry and then we can reassign so this is a reassignment uh, so variable reassignment so we have string str points to cherry and then uh, then we have str points to banana so this is uh, this is the initial variable assignment and this is the variable reassignment. So, uh, so in this case, so, so, so let's start from the beginning. String str points to cherry. At this point, it doesn't equal to bananas. But then, if we say, okay, we'll string str points to banana, then it no longer. Once we say this, it no longer points to cherry or knows that cherry even existed, because cherry got sent for garbage collection. We'll talk about that later on. But in this case, str knows. Okay, well, I only point to uh, I only point to banana, so I don't point to cherry anymore. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it. You can forget about cherry. Uh, unfortunately, cherry's gone now. So you just have str points to banana. Uh, before was before str was pointing to cherry. Uh, so once again. Hopefully I'm not confusing anyone. We have string str points to cherry, and then in the second in the second line we have str points to banana. So the string points to banana in this case it doesn't know about cherry anymore. Uh, cherry got sent for garbage collection, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. So now once str points to banana, we can reassign again. You can keep reassigning, right? You can say, okay, well, it points to this now. Then it points to... Uh, okay, this time we can say, okay, we can we have apple. We reassign to apples. We could say, okay, we have str2 points to... Uh, whoops. String str2 uh, points to... Uh, pi or something. Okay, so then we got uh, so if we go, okay, well S, uh, str points to cherry again. Then we got string str3 points to, so this is initialization. Uh, then we'll say, okay, we got str str plus str2 then if we get the value <coughs> excuse me so what's happening here so you have to start from the beginning because you won't know what happened so if str point to cherry then str points to banana str points to apple then str points to apples then we declare another uh, string completely we say we point it to pi so str2 points to pi, and then we have str pointing to cherry. So now str lastly points to cherry. And then str lastly points to pi. So then we have str3 is them is both of them concatenated. So we say, okay, well str3 points to str concatenated to str2, which is cherry pi. Right, because we have 
str which is cherry. Lastly, you have to see what it was equal to or pointing to last. So it points to cherry last, str points to cherry last, and then we have str2 which points to pi last, so if I concatenate them together it's cherry pi. Uh, I think it's with no space because we don't have a space here. If it would have put a space here, then there would have been a space, I think. Cherry pi. Or you could have put a space here at the end of pi. There would have been a space here that would have gotten you cherry pi as well. If you would have put two spaces, there would have been two spaces here. You could have added an extra space as well between them. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We'll do another. Uh, more GUI related examples, so let's just take this out. So if we have a string uh, description, then we say, okay, well, description now points to T, whatever. What's a good T? Uh, T. Any T. Whatever. Whatever you want. Whatever your favorite T is. So we have. Okay, so then we have a uh, message box dot show. So we'll say, okay, we're going to show a uh, description. So matches message box dot show description in this case. The message box or the dialog box will show the string T without the quotes. So then okay, so if we say okay, well then now we want to take description and point it to oops, points to uh juice or whatever, so we have juice, I'll just go with water, juice, walk, whatever, so we got juice, fruit juice with the space, okay, so then we have, uh, then if we go message box, dot show, then we'll say, okay, we want to show, uh, description. Then in this case, it's going to print out in the dialog box. Uh, basically shows or prints fruit juice. And here it shows a uh, T. So fruit juice and then T. Uh, so, when show, so when we show it in the dialog box here, it dialog box, uh, the dialog box prints out T. So we changed it. So now the dialog box no longer will print out T because it now points to fruit juice. The string points to fruit juice that we're printing. So you can you can store T and fruit juice together unless you include it. You can store two separate strings, but you could store a string with both included. Or you can concatenate them to another string. All right. So now let's move on to the uh, to the code example or the GUI example. Uh, so we'll just we'll just start with that. Actually, if I'm wondering if we should do that in the next one. Uh, so let's see, what have we gone over? So we went over... Uh, what did we go over here? Okay, so we went over... Basically... 
data types, so the data types have to be the same. We went over that. We went over uh, a variable can only hold one value at a time. Uh, so we went over, yeah, so we showed how a uh, variable can only hold one value at a time. We went over uh, different data types. You have to store the same variable with the same data type. So if you have a variable, you have to, it has to store data from the same data type as its uh, own type. Uh, so let's actually just uh, do the lab in the next one just to take a little break here so uh thanks for watching guys if you guys like the video you can like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like for more programming and investing tutorials uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to do a string gui with some string methods to practice and uh practice some gui elements and then uh, manipulating some string data with some buttons labels and a text box uh, so we'll do that one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope to see you there. Take care. Thanks for watching.